It's kind of crazy. I guess this happened Sunday night. He was doing like 90 miles an hour, 110 miles an hour up and down through the canyon. Yeah, I mean, this car is like a month old to us. I mean, we put the actual plates on it like, what, a week Literally, ago? This car is right down here. I wonder if this was his head or a branch. Oh, well, hey guys. Guess what time it is? It's time for a recovery. But come here, I'm gonna show you something. We haven't used this recovery truck in a while. It's been a while since you guys have seen the five ton wrecker. Uh, we brought it in and did a bunch of maintenance on it when we got the big green het wrecker that we've been using. Uh, the cool thing about this one is it actually does way better freeway speeds than the het. The het we usually have the trailer everywhere we go, whereas this one we can actually drive on the freeway. And uh, we just got a call about a recovery of uh, sports cars, like an Audi TTRS, some exotic uh, car rental company here in Salt Lake. Rented it to a guy, and I guess he rolled it like eight times off of a canyon, like a couple hundred feet down. It's gonna take uh, some technical rigging and winching to get it out of there, but it's buried, and uh, I guess the dude who rolled it's lucky to be alive. I haven't seen it yet, I've just seen a little picture of it, but uh, apparently it's down there, it's totaled, rolled a bunch of times, and uh, he needs our help to get it out. So what we're doing right now is we're actually swapping out the winch line on the five ton because that rear winch line, we've been really hard on it. And uh, you guys have probably seen it break in multiple videos. Well, our friends over at Cumberland Sales sent us the new winch line that we needed. Uh, we just haven't had a chance to install it yet because we're working on the projects. Strike to claim it, a strike to claim it. But now we need it, so it's going on. And uh, we'll be headed up the canyon here in a minute. It actually rolled up by the East Canyon Reservoir, the same place where we did the uh, the underwater recovery with Adventure of Purpose, where we found the Forerunner underwater that we brought to the surface and towed. So it's right there at the, kind of the entrance to that lake. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. It's a small little car, so not a real heavy duty recovery. So we're gonna take our rollback and then we're gonna take five ton wrecker because we need the crane to be able to kind of lift it up and out of there. But uh, I also think we have to work around guardrails because I don't actually don't, I don't know how he got in the canyon if there's guardrails, but I'm pretty sure that whole area has guardrails in it. So maybe he went over the rail or through it, but that's what we're gonna go find out right now. But first we gotta get the winch line fixed. Here's my question. We now know who won between uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. What was the lady's name? Miss Heard. Obviously, I'm Team Jack Sparrow. Obviously, he won. But the real question in this whole chat is: Are you Team Jack Sparrow or Team Miss Heard? Right here. You guys, good news. My thumb went to the doctor yesterday. Doctor told me six to eight more weeks and I'll be healed. So, so I took that as I don't need the cast anymore because I'm sick of it. Fair enough. Six to eight more weeks and I can go. Okay. Little cable is worn out.
So here's the uh, here's the damage. Got an Audi TTRS, I believe it is, from um, Exotic uh, Car Rental Company out of Salt Lake. They're just telling us a story. It's kind of crazy. Uh, some 50-year-old dude rented it. He's a truck driver, and he took it over the weekend. And he's you know he's a car enthusiast. And uh, I guess this happened Sunday night, which is just a couple days ago. And the weather uh, over the weekend out here was really bad. And so uh, he came back, or he called them Monday morning, and he's like, "Hey guys, I'm sorry. The start the car got stolen." And they're like, oh, don't worry, we have a tracker on it, it's fine. You know, we're gonna have to get the police involved and everything. And so they got the police involved, and like an hour later, the guy comes clean, he's like, oh, actually, I wrecked it, here's what happened. Um, but, I mean, they said they, they, when they looked at the tracker before it went offline, it was, he was doing like 90 miles an hour, 110 miles an hour, up and down through the canyon. So if he was doing those kind of speeds right here, on any kind of slick, I mean, even on dry pavement, this road is pretty windy. But if it was like, I know it was, it was rainy and snowy, so he probably just caught a weird turn right there and just spiraled into there. And the craziest part about the story is, he gets out, walks away, walks down this road like five miles to a campground and tells some people like, hey, here's what happened. And they're like, no, no, like, they turned him away and then he kept on walking until he found somebody with service because there's no cell service right here. So we haven't been down to the car yet, but. Let me ask you this. If you have multiple personalities, did your car get stolen? Yeah. Do you rent it with one and then your other personality steals the car from you? I guess that depends on if you've been professionally diagnosed. Like, he uh, said he, he rolled a few times. He said he was down a hundred foot cliff. He rolled eight or nine times, and uh, hard to tell. But we think he rolled only three or four. But either way, I mean the car is toast. Yeah, it sucks because it was a hell of a lot of fun to drive. But dude walked away from it somehow. He got out of the car, climbed up the hill, and hiked down the mountain to get self service. We got, we got Buzz Lightyear down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming up on the damage here car is right down here. Luckily it landed uh, right side up in the ravine here, but let's see if we can find any signs of, because his story was that he wasn't uh, drinking, wasn't drunk or anything, but it's kind of hard to believe based on the circumstances here. He's got some apple nicotine stuff. Just a bag full of vape stuff and pizza. Pizza Hut and Nick Pizza. Hey, that's, pizza, that's pizza how you Hut know and vapes. Right exactly. Truck. Yep. And a piss bottle right here. No piss bottles. Wonder if this was his head or a branch. I'm just, I'm just falling every time I take a step. I'm falling. So wait, hold on. How new is this carpet? Ah, uh, it's huh? pretty new. It'll tell you on the door. I'll tell you right here. The guy was telling me that they bought it. Drove around the block once. No, the key's still on. Hadn't made a, hadn't made a payment yet, and the dude rented it, and this is where it ended up. Really? Yeah. They hadn't made a payment yet? No, like two weeks. Brand new. He still has the key on. Really? The dash is still lit up. Oh, I think they probably just lit it up. Because they probably came down here, maybe. Unless it's been lit up all weekend, which I would. Yeah. Should we just drive the out of here? I would say either a, a tree or his head went through the windshield. They said a tree branch. Yeah. That's... He got lucky, then. That's crazy. Like, there's no way he can turn it There's no way he can turn it But did you, did you turn the get the dash on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm right. I'm driving this. You must have been short. I'm just going to sit in the seat and you drive it out. Way short. It looks, it looks done, though. With the, oh, being yeah. a unibody? I mean, yeah. It's probably crunched. You can maybe make it a race car. That's wild. <laughs> did you guys put the tow hook in or did he? I, I did. Oh. That was our contribution. Yeah. I wanted to help as much as I could do. We'll see, <laughs> see how well it holds. That's going to be the true test today is to see if Audi's single point tow hook works. Nice of him to put it in park, too. Yeah, he was real considerate. He was very organized. Yeah, you know, it'll probably, it's obviously totaled, so we'll get it back, get it to our office. They'll send the insurance out. The insurance will total it. And I mean, if the deal is right, hey, we'll buy it back, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what we'll do with it, but 
hoping to get some loss of income since it is a rental, but uh, yeah. I just paid a bunch of taxes on it too. So 7% of 70,000 is kind of a you know, big chunk of change. So I'm hoping to get that back too. So we'll see, we'll see, we're not too sure. Yeah, I mean, this car is like a month old to us. Yeah. I mean, we put the actual plates on it like, what, a week literally, ago? Literally right before this rental. It probably still has a temporary tag in the window. I bet we can find the temporary tag down there somewhere. Was that his bag of vape stuff and Pizza Hut? I don't know, hard to tell. Probably, I'll bet it probably. was, dude. I mean, I mean we, we send the cars out clean, so chances are good. Sometimes the cars will come back from a rental. The windows just caked with like vape. Like, you know how oh, it's yeah. like oil? Yeah. Like, oh, it like dude, sticks it to the glass, sucks. and it's just so gross. Bunch of vaping goods. somebody needs to learn to drive you think just keep the cable from binding up all right idle will yeah. over the duck There you go. You got it. Pull it up.
Check it out. Hans is finally driving one of his dream vehicles. Nah, nah. Yeah, this is what you've always dreamed about, Hans. Hans, are you excited to live your dream? Guys, this isn't... We're in a Tell company that's all about experiences, and this is your experience to, right now. He just wants to chill out. I can try to put it in neutral. Hold on. How's it going in there? Let's go, let me move your curtain. Have you ever driven a nice car like this before? Is that why maybe you're struggling? Why are you talking? You're used to the LHS? He right can't, he doesn't know how to drive this nice of a car. Is this how you imagined your dream would go? You want to shut that other door? Is this how you always imagined you it, Hans? Shut that other door so it doesn't get destroyed? Uh, I think uh, we're past that, Hans. So, rate your experience in this okay. car. You know, uh, Turo was a good experience for me. Okay. I really enjoyed it. Uh, five stars uh, for the department of rentals. Wait, hold on, I got a better idea. Ready? Hey, man, cool car. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <laughs>